Tesla just partnered up with Electrify America, a company that I would consider to be part of the rival gang, but nevertheless, they did it. The deal itself is not really that huge, but I wonder if it's the beginning of a beautiful friendship that actually will affect all of us. I'll tell you about it uh, uh, coming up next. Welcome to E4Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, welcome. Just don't forget to click on that subscribe button down there. It's free and that way you won't miss anything moving forward. And of course, a quick shout out to one of my newer Patreons, Christopher Kinsey. Thank you so much for joining me uh, in my Patreon community, supporting my channel. Uh, and of course, you're now able to watch me live. Uh, go to patreon.com slash e4electric if you want to join my community and support this channel. All right. So um, as you know, Electrify America is sort of an alternative to Tesla superchargers. Uh, here in the United States, it's uh, owned by Volkswagen Group, and then uh, they've created this as sort of a punishment for the diesel gate, uh, which is benefiting the electric car community, green energy, and, and, and so forth. Um, and they are building out this fast charging network. As a matter of fact, um, I just did a report uh, from a, one of them, and it is... Um, uh, and this is actually the picture from there, but they can charge, uh, uh, you know, the rates up to 350 kilowatts, which no car can take uh, right now up until Taycan shows up on the uh, on the market. Um, but uh, e-tron will be able to charge at 150 uh, kilowatts. Now they're building out this network, and it's kind of appearing all over the place uh, here and there. And Tesla, obviously. And I believe, despite what Elon Musk says, that I believe that Tesla supercharging network is pretty much their biggest. Uh, 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 feature, if you will, of their cars, uh, because kind of nobody else has it right now. And it was free up until, uh, you know, a, a few days ago, at least in the beginning of the ownership. And, you know, people like me uh, with 2015 or uh, older models um, enjoy it for the rest of the life of the car. So that's pretty cool. Um, so the, the you know, the, I, I would assume, and I think it's pretty fair to say that they're kind of competing networks. And Electrify America obviously is trying to make money on it. They're actually kind of pricey. Um, and of course, uh, Electrify America is enabling uh, Tesla competitors uh, to not have to worry about coming up with their own uh, charging network. And uh, they most of them are going to be relying on Electrify America here in the United States, Ionity in Europe, uh, uh, for that. But guess what? Tesla and Electrify America struck a deal. I was very surprised. So uh, let's let's dive into um, what the deal is. Before that, of course, I just want to mention that uh, this uh, video and uh, this channel is sponsored by Starman Gifts, the home of uh, the adventures of Starman. If you don't own this awesome uh, comic book, I guess, but I think it's more than that. Go into the description of this video, uh, grab yourself a, a discount code, and that way you can pretty much relive the Falcon Heavy uh, launch. And there are quite a few other cool things that they sell there, and the discount code works for all of them. All right, so here's the deal. And the deal is essentially with a solar city part of uh, Tesla, um, and it's for the uh, uh, power packs, right? This is basically a, 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 the battery uh, packs that uh, Electrify America is going to install in about what a hundred uh, different locations uh, for a hundred different stations. Sorry, and um, here's the thing: the right now most of the superchargers and fast charging networks so they get the electricity from the grid. Yes, it's not always clean energy. As a matter of fact, a lot of times it's not. But the problem is, is that you know they charge us kind of flat prices for for that. But if there are peak hours when you know it's too hot or too cold or it's that time of the day, a lot of times they lose money because they they're being charged by the grid so much that whatever we're paying as a flat rate is literally losing them money. So just like you know if you own your own house or 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 many other Tesla energy customers. What uh, Electrify America wanted to do is to uh, get some of these uh, power packs <coughs> and uh, that way they can store the energy in there um, and, and release it uh, when the peak hours come uh, come around so they don't have to grab as much electricity from the uh, from the from the, from the grid. Uh, so let's say 100, 100 stalls, uh, 210 kilowatt battery systems per site. 350 kilowatt hour capacity, which is not bad. I have to say, I'm just reading it. Um, and um, I wonder, because, you know, if this might happen even before Tesla uh, is using their own uh, battery packs, because I haven't even heard of them kind of gearing up for that. They haven't even announced the deal with themselves. 
for 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 this. So this is this is interesting. I wonder I wonder <laughs> because you know on one hand you know Electrify America obviously will be a paying client where Tesla won't be a paying client. Well you know because it's the same company. So I wonder if Electrify America will get first dibs uh, just simply because they're a paying customer. Um, but as great of this deal is, I really hope the fact uh, that these companies are now working together. What maybe what we can have in the future is these two networks, the Tesla Superchargers and Electrify America and Electrify Canada in Canada, um, actually sharing their networks between Tesla and non-Tesla cars. Now, that would be pretty cool because that way that maybe, let's say, Audi or Porsche or, or, or Kia owners will be able to charge the Tesla Superchargers um, and uh, the you know Teslas will be able to charge at Electrify America Superchargers. I think that's everybody wins. Um, now, I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm just saying that once these two guys are talking, this I would assume is definitely uh, might be discussed and might be something on the table. People might be recommending that deal to them. So that's why I think this deal is pretty cool because of what it can bring to us. Let me know, do you think it's a good idea for Electrify America and Tesla partner up in the future uh, to provide sort of a cross network accessibility for Tesla and non Tesla cars? And let me know why or why not. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.